Champions TV and unity-qld.com.au. This week I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of drinking enough water. With children, dehydration uh, can often lead to behavioural problems. Unlike with adults, dehydration can lead to lack of energy, um, feeling confused, feeling stressed, feeling like you can't think clearly, a lack of motivation, and it's, it's really hard to take clear action in the way we want to go when we're in that state of dehydration. So water is incredibly important. Whenever I start working with clients, one of the things we cover in the first session is not only the food and the rest that they're having, but also how they're fueling their body with water, how much water are they drinking. Because we can work really hard to get them to where they want to be, however it's, it can be limited if they're dehydrated. So water is important for daily bodily functions, for health and well-being. So it's about increasing your water intake to match what you're doing. Basically speaking, water is needed for carrying nutrients and oxygen to all your cells, flushing out toxins, maintaining health and the integrity of your cells, regulating body temperature, lubricating all your joints, aiding digestion, and also working to moisturise the skin so we look nice and um, plump rather than nice and wrinkled and provides a moisture environment for the ears, nose and throat tissues. So when you're dehydrated, the cells would possibly be more like sultanas than nice plump grapes. And when we are hydrated properly, we have a blood flow to the brain that is much better rather than reduced. We feel more energy rather than tired and a lack of energy. Um, we have nutrients flowing to our cells properly rather than a de decreased flowing of those nutrients. So then we have more energy as well because we get more energy from the fueling our body right. And so our health, moods and appearance and vitality is hugely lifted rather than feeling that we're unhealthy, rather than flushing out those toxins and having that nice energy, rather than having that nice glow to our skin. So water is terribly important. Now, it's one of the most simplest things you can do. However, it's one of the um, things that we miss quite a lot. So it's about having about two litres of water a day, let's say. So, but this isn't just all in the morning or just skull a cup here and there. It's about increasing it slowly, possibly over about five days, and to have a water bottle with you and to just be sipping it back as constantly as you can. So instead of just bulking up and going, okay, well, I've had my two litres in two hours, um, spread that out during the day just to really help that digestion and that release of toxins. So when you're exercising and when you're sweating, you're outdoors, um, you're drinking more coffee and tea or soft drinks, um, which you could be avoiding because you won't be looking for fluid from those as much um, if you're drinking enough water. If you're in air conditioning, or even if the temperature is higher than usual, you'll just need to add some more water onto that average two litres of the day, um, just to make up for what is coming out of your skin. It's interesting that we may not feel as hot in air conditioning, but it can dehydrate us quite a lot, so keep that in mind. In the article below, um, which has all this information and more in it, I've also added a chart, which I'll show you. And this chart just helps you track the water that you're drinking over, the, over a seven day period. And then you can either increase or decrease that. You can look at your routine around it. When could you be having more? Um, when could you be carrying a water bottle with you? Um, also remember when you're carrying a water bottle with you, keep it with you. Uh, I know some people that start carrying a water bottle with them, but then leave it in the car. And then by the time they get back to the car, it's uh, too hot to drink. So just be aware of things like that as well to make it as easy as possible to drink more water and you'll be so surprised at the difference not only you feel in your health and your well-being but how much more energy that you do have a very simple one but yet a very effective one um, you may also find that as you're flushing out those toxins that you get uh, less cold you get that feeling of sick a lot less because you're, you're aiding your body to get rid of that a lot quicker then it's manifest into something that then you have to deal with. Okay, thank you for this week. I look forward to your feedback and I'll talk to you more next week. Thank you.